Hey guys, so earlier today I posted a look on Instagram and said that I applied my false lashes underneath my lash line. Everybody kind of freaked out and was like, wait, what? You can do that? You can do that. And so I'm going to show you how I do it. And it's, um, it's a little terrifying at first, I'm going to be honest. It's totally a scary thing and it's weird because you're like, am I going to get glue in my eye? Am I going to poke my eye out? Please don't do any of those things, but um, it's not as hard as it sounds. So keep watching if you want to see how I did this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is curl our eyelashes. You always want to make sure to do this step before you have mascara on, because if you already have mascara on your lashes, it makes them brittle, and then curling them can actually break them off and damage them. Next, I'll just be applying a coat of mascara. Okay, so then I'll be taking my lashes. These are House of Lashes in the style Siren. You wanna make sure to, before you put them on, if you've already used these lashes before, to make sure that all of the glue is peeled off the band. You want a totally clean band. If you add any more product to that, it's just gonna to become too much to be putting underneath your lashes. So you wanna make sure that they're totally clean from the get-go. One of the main reasons that I'm using these particular lashes as well is because the band is nice and thin. It is also one of those clear thin bands too. And just for the style of application, that we'll be doing the thinner the band the better it's gonna be to adhere them I will also be using the house of lashes glue this is my favorite I am sensitive to duo and latex eyelash glues so that's why you, I use this particular one because it is latex free uh, and it works really well anyways so this is my personal favorite okay so I'm just gonna start loading up that band with glue uh, I'm not gonna put a ton of glue on just because I don't want it to be you know too much glue under my lower eye and really you don't need a lot anyways to here are the lashes but what I am gonna do is I am gonna focus the glue a little bit on I guess you would say the top of the band so the part that I'm gonna be pushing up against my eyelashes um, so while I'm doing this the side that's facing me I'm gonna be putting a little bit more product along there just so that when I push it up into my lashes there's a bit almost on the top to stick to hopefully that made sense all right, now I'm really just gonna let that get nice and tacky for a few seconds. By few, I mean like probably a minute. I am gonna bend and shape the band as well while I'm doing that, just so that it has that nice curve. I have quite curved eyes. Um, if you've got more flat eyes, then you probably would wanna skip this step. But for me, I like to get that nice curve on the band and it helps to prevent the sides from popping up because I know that that happens a lot too. To apply them, I'm going to be using tweezers. I really do recommend making sure that the tweezers are totally clean when you do this because it sucks when you go to pop your lashes on and then there's something sticky on your tweezers. So when you go to pull away, it pulls the lash off again as well. It's a huge pain in the butt and it happens to all of us. I will be taking the lashes from the middle like this. So kind of going in with the lashes parallel to your regular lashes. I'm gonna place from the middle. Those are really just sitting, so trying not to blink, I'm gonna take the outside and push it up, and then the inside. Just gonna hold that inner corner because I don't want it to pop up. Now that that's starting to set, I'm going to pinch my lashes and the fake lashes together. I think that the trick for this look really is just not blinking. Honestly, when you're like first getting it on, I think that that's it. It's just not blinking. Boom. All right, let's do the other eye. I'd like to point out as well that if this at any point feels painful, you should stop what you're doing. You do not want to damage your eyes. Your eyes are very delicate, very sensitive. And if at any point it is stinging or hurting or your like, eyes are watering like crazy, you should just stop and try again another time or maybe not try again. I would really hate for you to damage your eyes for doing this. So please, please tread cautiously. <laughs> And then lastly, I'll just be applying more mascara to the bottom lashes. And there you have it. A more seamless look to false eyelashes that is a lot easier than it sounds. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. If you do try this out, please comment below and let me know. Let me know how it went. I would love to hear. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can check me out on Instagram at Lee Dixon Artistry. And I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you soon.